So we are back with another streetwear pickup slash vlog slash update slash everything else type footage video. The last one I posted might have been uh, almost an hour. It was like 52 minutes. I figured I'd put it all together, you know what I mean? And just give it to you for those who really like the footage and who, who really like the content, you guys are gonna watch the whole thing. And for those who don't, then you're you're just not gonna watch it. With that said, we got some dope pickups. We got some some nice updated information. Oh, and also a QA. and I haven't done a QA and a in a while. Thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go through it today. Um, it's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. Let's get it. So instead of sitting in a room being all cramped up and editing and all that kind of stuff on weekends Sometimes I like to come out here to the city and just kind of drive around and whatever And now that I got my you know camera equipment out I might you know get some nice b-roll shots and all that kind of stuff I kind of rather be out a little bit even though pandemic whatever we got a lockdown Also, I'll show you the notification the bay the bay was like nah, we, we locking down everything I'm like bro, but everything is kind of open still I think I mean I looked at some of the hours for some stores and I'm like wait this this shit's still open so we might as well you know what I mean um not I mean of course it's socially distanced and, and and keep safe too I did want to show you guys this real quick I did pick these up um I thought that these were really cool they're like the payphone 1-800 air force ones there's no resale uh they're 99 bucks or 90 bucks or something like that has that sales sole on it um, and it also has a really cool details on it. it's 3m so if you take a photo of it it actually shows you uh the 1-800 number on the toe box and i thought it was dope and i just i mean the fact that it's this color and also there's no resale it it got me it, it got me right there i'll like, oh, okay i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it you know what i mean um i do still want to buy the crafts uh hopefully i can get those in soon i saw on nike.com they already sold out too so who knows, maybe I could pick up a pair of those. They got like three colorways. We're just gonna ride around the city, get some dope shots, you know what I mean? Maybe see if Wasteland is open. I do wanna see if Wasteland is open and maybe they might have something, something in there and if not, um, we gonna cut to the other footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. 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 Talking over these beats make my soul bleed. Big 40 on me, no OE. Bro, if I had a dollar for every time I forget a memory card, I'd have like $10. It's ridiculous. I remembered the memory card for the drone, but then for this camera, now I gotta... Anyways, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm in the mission now. I came down here for looking for a graffiti alley. Bunch of graffiti. It goes for like two blocks. It's pretty tight. Sometimes they have nice murals down here. Yo, look how many sneakers are up there, bro. Let's see what they got, bro. Let's see if they got anything good. They got bike tires. Boy, you see all that? Oh shit, they got some Nikes. Bruh. That's a lot of motherfucking shoes right there. This one's pretty dope. Four and five. They got other dope ones down here too. They used to have a jack of mural. I think they got rid of it. I, for a minute there, I didn't want to fly too far because then if your drone goes out of sight, it's hard to get it back. And also I'm carrying around this monstrosity with me. Anyways, we're going to go check out Wasteland. Maybe they might be open. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Even though there's a lockdown, but let's go check it out. Some days you circle around Hate Street and you don't find no parking for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, not even joking. 
And then sometimes you find it right in front. What? Oh, come on. It's Liddy. It's Liddy. Huh? Uh, I got this at um uh, the surplus store. Like Carhartt store. Or what? It's actually no fuck that. I got this on the Carhartt website. Okay, okay. Just type in Detroit jacket. Oh, I made these. These are yeah. That's my brand. Yeah. What's your brand? Uh, it's called Haven Court. What? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just type in Haven under underscore CT. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna follow you later. For sure. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, bro. For sure. Clean. Some Yeezys up in here, boy. Oh, they got the Raph Salmons. Oh my god. Ooh, do people care about these still? These are just chilling here. 250. Slightly yellow. As per usual, as per usual, they didn't have anything in there. Going there is like hitting the lottery. And I don't even think on my channel have I ever came up on anything on camera. I've came up once off camera. So all the times you not filming that you find something, but nice to meet that guy in there talking about the pants and stuff. Anyways, with that said, let's uh, cut to the rest of this uh, video here. Oh, before we uh, skip to the next scene here, of course, this is a Q&A. I did want to run through some of these questions real quick. I got a question from this person. I'll post it right here for you. He had several questions. How have you grown on YouTube? Just consistency. Would you want YouTube to be a full-time job? Yes, it is consistency. I think that's probably the best advice anybody can give you. It's the most generic advice, but it's also the best advice that anybody can give you because not only will consistency help with algorithm, even though YouTube tells you that like, oh, it's not about consistency. You could post once a month. It's kind of bullshit. If that's not what it is, even if you post consistently, you will eventually find your groove as far as like what kind of content you're pushing out and what you feel comfortable with. I mean, after the 50th or 100th video, if you haven't figured that out, I mean, my G, you, 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 gotta, you gotta figure that out, okay? <laughs> That's the first thing you gotta figure out, okay? The other question is, would you want YouTube to be your full-time job? I mean, it would be great. It would be really, it would be really great because YouTube does not, it does not pay what people think it does, but it is what it is and you got to play the game how you play the game. If production costs weren't an issue, what products would you create in the future? You know, I wouldn't even make, uh, I wouldn't even make clothes. I wouldn't make clothes. I would make, I would make Cubans. I would make Cubans. I would make jewelry. I feel like I would be able to know exactly what to do. That sounds a little cocky, but that's just how I feel. And, and I had a, another question a while ago. It's not on, it's not on my Instagram. Someone asked, if money was no issue, what clothing would I buy? Bruh, if money was no issue, I wouldn't be buying clothes. <laughs> I, I would have moved on. I would, I for sure would have moved on to jewelry. Jewelry or cars or something. Like, you know, clothes ain't even a, that's a secondary. That's not even a second. That's third, fourth on my mind. If I, money was no issue, come on now. It, this clothing is not, I, and also I wouldn't spend, you know, these crazy like archive prices for clothes. It's not, that's not me, but I would. I would bust down and get me a, a, a bust down, you feel me? I'd probably get me a little Cuban, you know what I'm talking about? A big Cuban, boy. If my, again, if money was no issue, I'd get the big, i get the big Jay-Z Cuban. <laughs> like a real Cuban link. <laughs> For sure, the one that make your neck heavy. I want that one. Give me that one. I don't, clothes don't matter. Give me a white tee and give me the Cuban. I'll be, I'll be fine. You can keep the clothes. I'm good. You know what I mean? That, to answer that question fully. That's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, let's cut to the other footage and answer some of these questions uh, in a bit. Uh, just as a small update, I got a bunch of boxes here. This is my first trip to the, the post office. I can only fit like eight or nine boxes per trash bag, so I got to keep going back and forth. Also, I drive a really small ass car. So anyways, let's go ahead and drop them off. I got holes all in the bag, boy. Yeah, I got a bunch of packages here. Oh, look at that, Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, Santa yeah. Claus. They're all the same way. Do I believe? Mm -hmm. No, I just, I just oh. don't. This is the. What time you guys close? Six? Six thirty. Thank you. There's still more. I still got more to go pick up and then drop them back off. Some of them were USPS, some of them are UPS. I tried my best to make them all at UPS because it's a little bit more trustworthy. 
But uh, let's go get those boxes. All right, I had to get the truck. I put them all in trash bags. There's four trash bags. Let's go ahead and bring it inside. Thank you, sweet. A long ass receipt, boy. Like 90 or 100 packages all on here. Oh, bro, pulled up in the truck. Okay. That Amazon thing, boy. Boy, came through with that Amazon money going crazy. Hey, no, 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 no. What you mean, no? This that eagle money, boy. That's fuck. You know what I'm talking about? There you go, sir. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. <laughs> Ooh, wait. It's that splat. It's that splat. Yo. Yo. My nigga. If my hair wasn't fucked up right now, this shit'll be going on. I ain't even gonna fuck with it right now, though. There you go. You hear me? Put my shit back, man. Put me back. You gotta protect it. You gotta protect it. You gotta protect it, man. Protect it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, okay. All right. How's everything though? Oh, man, you good. Going up. You know? Oh, there's nothing, nothing in there. No, oh, I can't, I can't. I thought I was gonna open it up. You get a whole bunch of boxes back there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got the little. You feel me in the bag? Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? It's lit. <laughs> just that. Just that splat. Shit. I might fuck around. Okay. 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 Ooh. Boy. That's that. That H and M hit a little different. Boy. The H&M hit a little different. First spot you gotta hit up, the H&M, bro, you gotta hit that cell rack, bro. That's where to get the jugs at. How much was that? A hundred dollars for you hoes. Really? That's a hundred bucks? Yeah, but 45 for me. <laughs> Real resale market, the resale market, that might be a hundred, you know, I'm smooth hundred. I'm gonna check eBay and see what yeah. they're about first, and then you can I'll throw it on H&M that. is going at hype right now, you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah. They, they want all that shit. They want Somebody want it. Somebody, Somebody want it. It'll sell eventually. <laughs> 60 years <laughs> late. We'll deal with that. <laughs> you know, boy, what you know about this one? What you got? Get that, get that prime drip. <laughs> that prime drip pulling up on you. Oh, boy. Hey. Now, see, this This workwear. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> boy, got that, got that smiley. The smiley in the back. Bruh, he the reason my package late. <laughs> nah, I did my job. <laughs> My shit empty. <laughs> you got your shit on time. Don't trip, guys. Amazon, hey. you know, Amazon got your back. Hey, don't don't worry about me. I, I ain't the reason your shit late. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna talk about. I think it's in here somewhere. There it is. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Are you are you ready for this? I don't, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all really, you know what I'm talking about? I don't think you ready. I don't think you ready, bruh. You know what I mean? This right here, this right here. Whoo! God, I've been waiting to show this one. This is, this is not a shoe anymore. This is art. This is, this is art. That This is what that is, okay? I, I will never, ever put my foot in this thing. Never. If I were to ever make a vape museum, like a real vapesta museum, this has to be in there. You you can't not have this in there in a in a vapesta museum. That's that's just facts. You know what I'm talking about? But in the condition. If you wanted to check that out, boy, star count. Of course, of course, going stupid. So stupid. I don't even think anyone did put their foot in this thing almost looks like it's still factory lace too right toe box boy the toe box is pristine baby pristine i know i keep showing this this footage right here i found i randomly found this footage on youtube and it's someone that actually filmed this footage at the in 2009 at the hong kong vape store and the Hong Kong um, IT Bay in Causeway Bay, it does not look like that anymore. It's not even close to that. And it's crazy that, you know, now that IT owns Bay, it's just a totally different um, feel. It's a different vibe. But back then, going to the Hong Kong Bay store, man, when you walk in, it's a it's about the shoes. It's about the Bay And I mean, the clothes almost seem secondary. 
but it's about like walking in and on the on the floor you see nothing but the shoes spinning around through the glass and then you look at the wall and it has every single uh one of their most coveted babestas for sure this one is in there i don't know if in the video you're going to be able to see it but man i mean that video that i'm showing you right here for b-roll is uh that brings back memories for sure i don't even know why you know it vape and Cosway bay even changed that that was such a main and important statement of bape and that's like if you go to the new york store i don't know if they remodeled it now but if you go and look at the window if they don't have the shoes spinning in the window man it's like it ain't that ain't that is not the bape that we remember like we we all want we want this back this is what we want back and i know a lot of people are going to ask me about what do i think about the new vapes does and i'm going to talk about that later in this video so just kind of stick around and, and wait for that information but but i mean if they were to ever bring this back which they should they should definitely 100,000 percent bring this back they don't got to bring back the colorway just bring back the the original silhouette of this 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 work of art okay this is this is exactly what nike didn't do they didn't make air force ones like this if they did i'd be buying them i'd be buying them this is this is candy this is candy this is one this is just one of them ones you just sit back and be like hey boy <laughs> anyways with that said i do have some vlogging content coming up um let's go ahead and run that footage and then we'll we'll come back here so I just stood in line at Best Buy for like 20 minutes to buy one of these. Yes, I know. The first vlog that I showed you guys with my new drone, I forgot a memory card. Now the second vlog that I'm showing you with the drone shots, forgot a memory card again. That just shows you how much I've been using this thing. <laughs> but it's uh, it's kind of raining today. They said it's gonna rain around like uh, one or two or something like that. But I figured that beforehand, I'd probably get out here, try to get something going. And for some reason down there, is there's a ton of sun out there i guess maybe the clouds and the rain is moving the other direction i don't know but we're gonna figure this out let's uh let's fly this thing okay so let me answer some more of these questions here. Uh, no questions here. I think Day asked a really good question. So shout out to Day if you're watching this. Advice to your younger Keezy YouTube self. Um, I don't have advice for my younger YouTube self, but I have advice for my younger self, like, like a, year, a couple years before I started YouTube. And the advice would have been, if I can go back in time before I started YouTube, I would tell myself, to start YouTube earlier. That's it. That's like my, that's probably my biggest regret. And I tell people that all the time in hopes that it will motivate you if you're just in limbo and you don't even know if you want to start and what have you. It wasn't an insecurity and it wasn't uh, a courage thing. I didn't like to be in front of the camera previously before starting my channel. I think I just wasn't ready. I don't know what the words are to fit there, but I just wish that I started earlier because I would be so much farther ahead you know, compared to where I'm at right now. And I, I feel like I just started super late and I caught on to everything really late. But you know, here we are and you know, 40K subscribers, I appreciate y'all. All right, let's do one more question before we move on here. If you are approached by a sneaker company for a collab, who would it be and what shoe? My quick answer for that, it's gonna be Bape, all right? But I would only collab with Bape if they let me do the OG Bapesta. None of that new Bapesta shit, none of that shit you see with The weekend. I don't buy into none of that. People kept tagging me in that. And I'm like, how do you, I thought you guys knew. I, I, have you ever seen me buy a new Babesta? The answer is no. And I, it's not, nothing against it. If you love those, hey, you love those. There's still a market for it. People love them. I don't like the new Babestas, the one they've been pushing out in 2020. And last year, I don't even know how long they've been making those things. Those things are, nah, those aren't it. Those look like Air Force Twos. But if Babesta, if, if Babe can let me do a Babesta, my own, absolutely, 100%. And if they don't let me do that, then New Balance. New Balance, hit me up, bro. New Balance for 100%. 100%, I'll do something with New Balance. Off top, off top. Okay, one more before we go. I know I, I know. I just said one more. Someone asked, says, thoughts on the OG Babes the Colorways coming back? Well, I don't know if it's more so the colorways, but the new Babes the for 2021 looks a little bit different. They're not doing the same uppers as the ones that I don't buy into, the ones that I don't like. It looks like they're changing it. It's like, it's like the old upper with the new bottom. 
which to me, I don't even know why you, I mean, the, at this point, you might as well just make the OG silhouette. I don't know why they're doing that. But my thoughts on those in particular, the ones I'm showing you right here, so far, I like them. They look really nice. No, it's not 100% like the OG. I still love the OG. The OG will still be the pinnacle. There's no question about that. But this new one, I got to see it in person. Most likely, I'll, I'll probably try to go for a pair. Hopefully, they change their mind and, and they just, just make the, the regular old bapes though that they've been making why why is that so difficult you guys didn't get sued before bape did not get sued before according to reggie so shout out to reggie from the casual according to him bape never got sued by nike so if y'all didn't get sued back then he ain't gonna get sued now look at how many remade sneakers are coming out right now look how many remade sneakers motherfuckers is not getting the letter the only person that got the letter was warren lotus because he was trying to really pull some slick shit he was really trying to pull some slick shit he didn't really change much about it he just put a little a mask on the check right but hey you know do you man get your bag get your money get your paper but hey i'm just saying if bape never got the letter back then why don't you just just keep making the ogs so then it would bring the resale prices down for some of the older ones maybe if they don't re remake those same colorways but also everyone will have a chance like myself to buy new og babes again new og style babes that's what i've been asking for i've been asking for that forever forever you know what i mean you see you can see how my energy on this shit it is what it is man anyways let's go ahead and uh keep droning here i'll answer some more of the questions as we go in the video uh and also i do want to visit hat club it's like right down the road from here and uh yeah let's get it Got everything. Can't sit down nowhere. All right, clothes. Oh, fucking clothes. All right, yeah, right when I got here too. Fuck. Well, I guess we can only look through the window. It doesn't look like anything new, that's for sure. I just wanted to see an A's hat, or maybe a San Jose hat. Okay, so since Hat Club, the guy's going for lunch, I think. So I. I got a little bit of mall food, but um, and I'm eating it in the stairway right now. I'm trying to keep my social distance. The next question we had was from Tony. I think it was something to the effect of like, what's coming next after the jeans? After the denim, I definitely do. I want to do fitteds because I think a lot of people have been asking for that. And also I've kind of gotten back into fitteds and buying a lot of fitteds. So I wanted to make like my own branding onto the fitteds. After the denim itself, we're not going to stop with denim. I mean, I'm a big denim head, so I'm going to keep producing more denim. Um, I got more like ideas in my head. There's two pairs I've already been working on with two different manufacturers. And hopefully, I mean, whichever one comes first, you guys are gonna see first. So hopefully that answers the question. Then Draco also had, had another question about whether or not uh, we're gonna do hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. Yes, that's also in the works. I mean, how can you, how can I leave that out? I can't leave that out for sure. You'll definitely see that. Do you wanna get those t-shirts? I'm led to believe the sizing with MLB and New Era can never be consistent <laughs> because this is a seven and an eighth. I always float between seven and an eighth and the hat I have on is a, a seven. I tried this one on and it fit pretty well. And you're probably like, well, that's just a normal A's cap. The normal team A's cap comes with this little pin. I'm throwing this away for sure. It's not though. Like I said, in stock, usually I gotta bend this way more. I gotta get my rubber bands out. <laughs> Usually in stock, once you see it, and if it's there, it's there. And if you try to come back, it's just not going to be there. I think this one fits really well though. Gray bottom white lining. So on here, the, the hat I just bought, it's the newer silk lining. I love that they did that. It also makes the hat fit a little bit different. This one isn't completely OG though. Yeah, they did do the flat embroidery on the back there, but they incorporated the new era logo on the side, which they shouldn't have. They should have left it blank. And then they put a little patch on the side here. We used to look all the time for the um, the new era hats that have all the patches on the side. And now damn near every hat has a patch. <laughs> I'm not saying it's played out. It's just every hat has a patch. And that's a big reason why I, um, I put that patch as an optional thing to put on the hat when we were uh, letting go of those Haven Court hats. Um, I did have a question here too that actually goes right in line with this. This person asks, is the Haven Course hats going to make an Oakland A's hat? 
I don't know. I would love to continue to do it, but I have a reason as to why I may or may not continue for very obvious reasons. And I'll state maybe kind of what that is exactly later on. But as it stands, it's tentative. I don't have an answer for that. Over here blasting Michael Jackson right now. Easy, where did you get your inspiration for the star design on the SF hat? I got the inspiration from, like I wanted to put something signature on it so then regardless of what logo it is, I could put that star and then you would know that it's me, right? And also, I mean, I love Babestas, I love Air Force One, so Nego took the Air Force One, took off the check, put a star. I always kind of like the whole star look. I think stars in general, like on paper, they look great depending on how they're designed and how you use it. So I was like, hmm, well, how can we use a star within either some kind of like baseball logo, something like that. So that's how that ended up. Uh, this person asked, why haven't you done anything with Evisu in a while? Uh, I have a reason for it. Um, I'm gonna head back and show you, not an unboxing, but a package somebody sent me and we can kind of talk a little bit about that uh, in relation to this question. So let's go. Okay, so in relation to that question of like why I haven't been posting too much about Evisu, what I did want to show you guys uh, is this uh, package that was sent to me just on a genuine tip had sent was it was sent in this big old evisu bag right from actual evisu from uh, one of the asia offices i had been talking back and forth on a friend notion to someone that has been working there and and when they sent it over it was kind of a lightweight surprise i didn't know that she sent it at the time and then i i got it and i was like oh shit like for sure and then i messaged her and i'm like hey i, I want to you know shout out your name and this and that and she was like no no i don't i don't it's okay it's just for you and i really want to say i mean i'll give you guys a hint it, like her name starts with a k so that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> i guess that's all i can say you know i guess she doesn't want me to put her at okay but she sent over a couple items let me show you guys she sent over this i know this is a bait bag but um she sent over this the Palace Evisu t-shirt. Bwah, what's up with your bwah? You know, I never had a chance to buy um, any of the Palace stuff, um, but this is really nice. It's not my size, but it's great for collectors for sure. I'm definitely not selling it. Hell no, I'm not selling this. This is 100% for keeps right here. She also sent this over, so it's like a, a bape folder. I actually need this for filing, so I'm gonna for sure be using this 100%, 100%. And she sent this over too. It's like this, um, this shark, uh, <laughs> little pouch but it has yo wait wait hold on hold on this shit is this shit dope even if you don't like vape this is hard hold on it's uh red envelopes but they're vape red envelopes like how dope is that look at that what it got the shark on the you feel me it got the little you know what i'm talking about yo when i opened it i'm like oh this is hard chinese new year motherfuckers gonna be baked out boy <laughs> i wish i i really wish i could tag her her name and I, I i know she wants to not you know be put out there like that so i, I understand oh there's one more item she sent over are y'all are, are you ready for this this shit is this is lightweight kind of hilarious at the same time but it's dope okay you guys ready <laughs> are you ready uh you're like what is that it's a tote bag what <laughs> it's an ibisu tote bag <laughs> i got an ibisu tote bag she sent this over and what's crazy about this tote bag hold on before i you know what i'm talking about look if you if you turn it around the tote bag is supposed to look like pants <laughs> yo look it even has it has the rivets and everything it has the rivets and like the button button fly and on the back it has uh, the actual patch that they put on the, you know, any regular pair of Evisus, I thought that was, I thought that was funny, you know what I mean? Because, like, the whole, the whole tote bag war is going on right now. If I, if I, if I put this on, do I look like an archive page? Like, for real, though, like, on, on God, do I look like an archive page, though? Do, do I get more likes when I, when I wear tote bags? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm just messing, but this is hard, though. Tote bag shorty up in this thing. Okay, baby. But anyways, again, shout out to her. Big shout out to her. I'm gonna hit her up again and thank her one more time for sending this over as, uh, you know, on a genuine tip. And I think just to talk a little bit about, a little bit more about the uh, the question of like why I haven't been posting about Ibisu. I haven't, it's, it, there's no like conflict at all. 
Um, I just haven't been posting too much because I haven't been buying too much uh, Ivisu um, because I've been saving my money to invest into making the pants. And I can tell you right now, making the pants is very expensive. Uh, in fact, let me show you real quick. I, I feel like I've done so many versions. I, I think I might be... I may be over 13 to 14 samples deep. A big part of it is because it's my first time and you know, whatever, making Japanese raw denim. A lot of things I had changed and then made a mistake on and every time you make a mistake, just truth be told, any little minor change or mistake will cost you another two to three weeks. Minimum, okay? Minimum of you wasting time because you made that one mistake. But anyway, so uh, I did kind of source some fabric. Now I've gotten my own custom, you know, buttons and stuff. And on the denim, you're going to get uh, my own branding right there. It's gonna say Haven Court on all of them. This right here is a 15 millimeter. This is a 17 millimeter size. So they're, it's not all just one size. I could have, but you know, you gotta spend that extra, that extra dough to get it done. You feel me? Of course, I got my own rivets there. It's got its own selvage uh, detail on the pocket as well. Oop, I don't wanna show too much. There's some changes that need to be done here too. I'm not gonna show you that yet. A lot of people have just been waiting on this and I understand and I totally get it. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. I could have released the pants months ago, months ago. But what you would have gotten is a regular degular old pair of pants with no detail on it. It would just be a, it just be a, it's like going to H&M and buying, buying some denim. Like what would be the difference other than the cut? And that would be it. And I didn't, I don't feel confident to you know put that out I, I want what i put out to be what i want made period and a discussion i'm not i'm not settling for anything else and i think that you know i got time to wait anyway it's not like it's not like you guys don't own pants already <laughs> i can i can somewhat take my time but keep in mind uh we're, we're getting way closer as far as decisions and so just know that it's on the way and i know some people are newer to my channel so if you can follow the instagram here or here whichever side i put it on um, so anyways, let's, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, oh, fuck. oh no. <laughs> bro, this is your first time trying a Vietnamese sandwich, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna need this on camera, G. God damn. I'm gonna need this on camera, G. I didn't know you've never tried one. Boom shakalaka, sir. There wow. you go. He said, wow. Wow. Numbers. 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 <laughs> Sorry, these are the oh yeah, this is oh bro, this is the Linda's experience right now, guys. This is Linda sandwiches part two. This is technically like part four. Yes, but sir. Like, this is part two on yes, a sir. official note. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, shout out to Linda by the way. <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope it wasn't like this whole weight and you get here like bro, this shit ain't even. No, this is about to change my life. Is it okay? This is about to change my life. I'm confident. Hmm. <laughs> You bullshitting or you like it? Okay, no, I like it. Okay, all yeah. right. I fuck, I fuck with the cilantro a lot. Yeah, and it's got a little bit of veggies in there. Sausage egg, and they got their own The little, flavor profiles are wild right now. Right, it's all over the place, mm -hmm. right? Not too much bread. No. You know what I'm saying, boy? Mm. There you go. That's how you, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And you came correct on the <laughs> egg, too. Uh, you have to add the egg. You came correct. You everything with egg tastes good except cereal. But yeah. Mmm. 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 It's kind of hit different. It kind of hit different. That shit do be hitting different. Though. Yeah. Yo, Linda? God damn. Who is Linda? I need to meet Linda after <laughs> after this. We probably did. We don't even know that that's her. <laughs> Yo, Linda, if you're watching this, bro, you changed my life. <laughs> This whole plaza they got, well, I mean, it's, it's Vietnam town, so they got a bunch of different um, sandwich spots. I've tried all, damn near, I don't say I've tried all of them, but I always come back to this one. Mm -hmm. all right, too bad you don't like coffee. I don't fuck with coffee. Really, man? Bro, coffee. Coffee's just dirty water. Oh, man. I, well, okay, I, I don't disagree with you because, I mean, technically drinking too much coffee is not that good for you, you know what I mean? But I fuck with coffee, boy. Mm -hmm. Coffee just makes you more creative. You just drink hella coffee. I don't know why, like, Drink coffee at like 5 p.m. From 5 p.m. to 3 you in the morning, like you just... You sound like someone trying to sell me on weed. A little bit, uh, you know? Oh, you know, it just makes you more... It's a different strand. You just, it makes you more creative. Yeah. Bro. You just think <laughs> there's, different. There's more, there's more THC in this one, You bro. just think different, bro. <laughs> Northern Lights. <laughs> they give all these creative-ass names. Yeah, dude. Uh, look, look, hey, let me get <laughs> a hit of that. ass weed names. Can I get half a pee of that hot, hot and horny OG? Jesus. You smoke a lot? Mm-mm. No? 
Drink? Not really. No? I don't do much to be honest with you. Yeah, same here. I really fuck with this sandwich. Oh, you like it? I hey, really that's what's up. I was like, bro, we coming all the way out here. What if this motherfucker don't even like the damn sandwich? No. You ain't fucking with the sandwich? I trusted you. <laughs> I trusted you. And <laughs> my trust was not misplaced. I had hella other comments about the sandwich on that video. I don't uh -huh. know if you, I think you saw it, right? And, um, and they were like, bro, no, you gotta try the one down the street, this and that. Nah, I'm like, nah, bro. Wrong. I don't give a nah. fuck. I've never even been to those ones. <laughs> and I don't want to. Because Linda nailed it, right? If it's not broke, I'm not gonna try it's and like fix it. It's like this every time, too. Motherfucking Linda hit different, boy. Yo, hit different. I kind of want another one. You really? Oh, shit, sure. we can go back That's in how there. I feel. I don't want to go. You want to try a different one? Honestly, they got, like, they got other ones that are pretty, pretty I lit. know, but like, I'm just. All right, for those who are watching right now, uh, if you come to Linda Sandwiches, which I will tag it here for you, um, you gotta try number six with egg, mm -hmm. and if you don't like, if you don't like that one, you should try, I think it's number nine. Number, number nine or like, seven or if something. If you don't like the number six with egg, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Your shit disappeared, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Usually what happens, I know this is your first time having vegan sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Usually what happens is that they'll use bread. Um, it's like the the type of bread that's it's too thick mm -hmm. and it's overpowering. So when you eat it, when you eat it, it's like you yeah you get to taste the shit in the middle, but it's like hella bread. And it's like bro, like I don't Linda I don't need all this the damn ratio. bread, bro. She mastered the ratio. That shit was so good. I'm gonna be thinking about that sandwich all day. Well, you know where it's at now. But I knew the story. Man. I knew where it was at regardless. Also, oh that too. <laughs> Enjoyed that? Yo, if you ever find yourself in the Vietnam town area, in the San Jose, California, head over to Linda Sandwich, where you can get a number five with egg. Um, it's so good. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> you are you, are you ready? For, hold on, guys, I'm bringing this guy to, to Blue Jeans. Hell yeah. If, if you're from San Ho, if you're from the 408, if you're from the South Bay, bro, and you ain't been to Blue Jeans, bro. You were, you're not from here. Bro, town. this is high designer. Okay, no, this is. is this is CCP archive. Dude, I'm hoping fashion. they got some archive, bro. I'm <laughs> looking for I'm looking for a the Bay We Fresh Subway parody tape, bro. <laughs> hey, don't spoil it for the people. <laughs> hey guys, see House of Blue Jeans, man. Look at those Levi's. Oh, those are real. Bro, those are vintage orange tab <laughs> Levi's, bro. How you doing? Bro, you see this thing, bro? I should go crazy. Get your YT special in here, man. You know what I mean? Pro, the pro club things. Wow, this place it, it has so much more stuff. I came here a couple years ago. I was like pretty dead in here. Come on, guys. What you guys know about all this, bro? This is archive, bro. This is archive San Jose classics. Every single one is pro club, except maybe oh, pro five for sport. Oh, dude, I can file my nails on this print. <laughs> My oh, God! No. Oh my God! That is a StockX verified tag. Oh, no. Bro, this is guaranteed authentic. No, it's verified authentic. Verified authentic. I mean, like the I fitting. Like no, the fit actually works perfectly for me. Fucking Japan gets all the cool Ben Davis shit. Yeah. But ben Davis is from here, so it's like. Yeah. Damn, bro. Honestly, I didn't even know they had Ben Davis here. Dude, Ben Davis goes so. This hard. is the Gorilla Cut. That's a hard label. Holy you view me. It is pretty tight. That's it. Yo, with the, the you feel me to go with it. Dollar dollar bills. You know what I'm That's talking about? Sick. I can't lie, man. In the 2000s, this, these were popping. Yeah, Everybody had something like this. Oh, I know. I've, I've seen them. Ooh, Whoa. No, you know, these are the, the thick ones, too. No, they're not the thin ones. I know, bro. Oh, they're only 50 I've bucks, too. Looking for one of these, too. Shit, this is a better... Um, place to come to than i thought yeah, for real, dude. <laughs> i was kind of making this into a meme <laughs> no i mean it is a meme but like yeah. you, know. you know it is still a meme yeah it's <laughs> large to excel but god damn yeah, no, i'm swimming man. boy <laughs> i'm swimming <laughs> Where'd the hanger go? Yeah. Bro, you know you know what store we're in, right? Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> I, I do. I didn't say I was surprised. I just said, wow. What a, I'm just going to try this one anyway. Who knows? Huh? Oh, what? Okay? Yeah. Oh, this is nice, though. Take it to the lady and tailor it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, I'm buying this. Hey. It'll be my it'll be my fourth. A fourth black Your one. Your fourth black, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, the cut is a little tiny bit different, but... I like your cut, G. Because this one dips down on the car one. Uh -huh. yeah. So tell us your experience, man. 
blue ha jeans. Blue jeans. It's Vietnamese sandwich for the first time and house of blue jeans yeah. for the first time. House of blue jeans. Or is it house of blue jeans? Just blue jeans. Whatever the fuck. SJB. SJB was life changing <laughs> and incredible. <laughs> Did you like all the archive pieces in there? Oh, the the archive was honestly the best shit there. Yeah, I know. I the, know. The lighted up Gatorade tea was incredible. This is the, the highest designer I could have brought you to in San Dude, Valencia. listen, and see, here's the thing this is, is I, my top Balenciaga YSL Louis Vuitton. That, you've changed, you you really fucked with my outlook, right? Because like I'm, you know, I'm I'm a designer boy low key, right? Like I fuck with the designer shit, but I I don't think I can anymore. <laughs> this. Talk oh, about. Oh wait, we didn't even see the t-shirts. I don't think they had them though. I was kind of looking that's around. Fine. I wanted to show you the packaging of like No, right, yeah, yeah I wanted to see that too. Anyways, we're gonna cut to some more footage, so. Yee. Okay, so next up on uh, some of the questions that we had on Instagram um, from this guy, he said, or he asked, what advice for up and coming YouTubers, editing time, management, etc.? Uh. Very quick advice, do it if you really like to do it. If it's a chore, don't do it. Because people will know that it's a chore. They'll, they'll feel it. As far as editing, time management and stuff, whatever waking moment that you have to do it, do it. One thing about me I, I think people don't know is that um, like I don't, I don't drink, I don't smoke and all that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, I've had my fair share of fun. Do not get that twisted. But uh, you know, I mean, I don't go to kickbacks. I mean, it is COVID, it's the pandemic and stuff. I mean, people are not seeing each other anyway, but even prior to that, every weekend I'm here. Every weekend I'm in front of a computer. Every weekend I'm, I'm in front of a camera, I'm behind the camera. Uh, I'm trying to make it work, I'm trying to make it happen. And I'm spending every, every weekend, every free time that I have, even if I'm somewhere where I don't have my camera, I can't film, I'm on my phone. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's a good video idea? I'm watching other people's content. I'm like, okay, what, what did they do? How can I use that to, you know, to, in my own style and create my own type of content from that idea, right? If it worked for you, it can work for me. So that's where, that's where I'm at headspace wise. And I, I think, I mean, that, that can progressively happen for you, but I mean, if you're not there, I would try your best to get there in, in mindset. And then eventually the, the time management thing, it's not necessarily about time management. It's just how much time do you have to do it? And then you just go do it, you know, make it happen. I mean, if you can only push out one video a month, then push out one video a month. If, if, if you can progress that and do two videos a month, do two videos a month. I mean, I think there was one point for me, I was doing four or five videos a week, right? And I think I've kind of slowed down because I've made the content a little bit longer. So you get to enjoy all the content on one video instead of watching four videos, right? So it's, it's how you want to do it. And it, it's particularly to your own style. Uh, and as far as learning, editing and stuff like that, I mean, I'm all self-taught. I've I've been uh, editing and doing shooting music videos for friends, editing skate videos from way back in the day. I've always just known how to use that program Premiere um, and I like to do it. It's really exciting to do it, especially being able to push content out on YouTube quickly. I like that. I can make it, finish it, complete it, upload it, be done with it, move on to the next. And that's just kind of, that's where I sit. In relation to that question, we had Tyler. Tyler Goen, uh, we had this guy that asked this question, your top 10 favorite YouTubers to watch. Uh, surprisingly, I don't know if I have a top 10. Um, I definitely watch um, AO from the Fashion Archive, Reggie from the Casual, I watch the Casual a lot. Surprisingly, I still watch a lot of sneaker YouTube. Sometimes I watch a lot of the, <laughs> I watch some of the sneaker YouTube beef because it's just kind of entertaining every once in a while, uh, sneaker tubers. I watch Tony D2 Wild, I watch Bullet RC for their up and coming sneakers that are coming out. I like those videos as well. As far as like other fashion content creators, maybe even Fly With Johnny. Sometimes every once in a while I watch Frugal Aesthetic, uh, Jacob Wallace every time he posts. I try to make sure I can watch those too, but I, do, I find it a little more entertaining to watch like the smaller creators, people that are kind of within their first year, Patrick Kiera. Um, anytime day post, I do watch those too. I think Sierra also puts out some really good content. I think every Friday they do that live. Um, I'm always working every time they're on the live, so I always have to like listen to it like on the side. It's nice to see the channels in the beginning. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great to see the really big channels too. And sometimes I just take those with a grain of salt, but seeing the smaller channels is like, I, I still feel as much as 40,000 subs might seem really big to someone that's below, I still feel like I'm down still at like 5k, 5,000 5, subs. I feel that's where I feel like my energy is still at, you know, even, even if I hit a hundred in the, in later on, if we even go that far, 
um, I'm still gonna feel like a small fry compared to the other ones. I'm not saying that's a small channel, but I'm just saying f feeling wise, I feel like I'm still grinding it out, right? Uh, and I like that aspect. I like seeing people win. Oh, Brave New Wear too. Brave New Wear is doing a great job. He just hit 10K. Uh, big shout out to him. He had like 100 people on his live and um, he's doing a really good job. I love to see that, the energy in that, there's more energy in that. that, that's what I'll say, than to see someone that has already, they've already, you know, been doing it and they're kind of in the cycle of just kind of pushing out the same content. I, I can not care less about it, but I, I'm a little bit more distant and I feel more relatable to those who are still starting because I, I feel like I'm still there, you know. Uh, real quickly, the last pickup, close the door. Also, before the sun goes down, got a little bit of battery left. The last item I wanted to talk about was Blam. You see it, boy. Lord Fubu then came through for the kid, man. I know I've been talking about these types of hats with like, you know, personal embroideries and whatever. And Lord Fubu had hit me up and he was like, hey, man, I want to make you a hat. And like, literally the next day, he had it done. And I was like, whoa, like, that was super quick. Also, he put my name on there, boy. He put Keezy on there. One of one, boy, this shit go hard. Boy, got the FUBU thing on there, California. Of course, you gotta, of course you gotta have the A's cap too, right? Uh, it was either that or a Frisco hat, but I mean, this is, this is hard. This is crazy hard, you feel me? Big shout out to Lord FUBU. He sent it to me on a, on a genuine tip, you know what I mean? And I know he's killing it right now. He's doing a really good job. Um, I love everything that he represents, you feel me? Also, I know people have been asking about this. I mean, I already showed it on the Instagram, but I might as well show it here. It's not supposed to come with this side embroidery, but you're gonna get that regular red tip in the back. You got the, uh, the 001 hit on the back as well. The tagging on the inside. I know a lot of people have been anticipating this. Just don't worry, it's coming, it's on the way. And it is really hot in this car right now. Jack it up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, with that said, again, Lord Fubu, if you're watching this, bro, Shout out to you. This shit, this shit is hard. This shit is crazy. Love it. Love it. All right, I don't know how to end this video other than to get a real nice shot of the city right here. Hopefully you can see it in the camera, but if not, we're gonna drone this. Last time I came out here, if you guys watched the last vlog, I tried to drone this part, but it was just super windy, but barely in the wind today. It's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, everyone. By the time you're watching this, Christmas is over, but Merry Christmas anyway you know spend time with uh, the loved ones and all that kind of stuff with that said we're gonna end this here if you made it this far in the video yo shout out to you <laughs> this shit about to be like an hour long so it's, <laughs> it's a long ass video you're you're a real foot soldier you're a real trooper you made it to the end of this video anyways thanks again guys i'll see you in the next one peace